much again for joining me. I had to post my Sephora haul because I've been seeing everybody else post their Sephora hauls, so I need to quickly jump on that and include my video. Um, it's Saturday. Unfortunately, I don't know when this video is probably going to go up, probably later this week, so the Sephora sale will already be over. But if you follow me on Instagram, it's the same handle as my YouTube. It's Hazel83, H-A-Y-E-S-E-L-83. On Instagram, um, I'll link it down below because uh, I've been posting on there, you know, as the orders have been arriving from Sephora, what I've gotten so far, and you know, if you wanted to get some ideas or pick up some of the same items, uh, you could just check it out on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I tend to do these videos just on the weekend, so um, by the time I post it, it might already, yeah, be too late. Sale is over. But you know, if you're an avid Sephora lover, shopper, Rouge member, regular VIB member, Beauty Insider, you get two times a year. Last year, they gave three three chances uh, to shop um, at Sephora on all the brands for um, a 20% discount this year. I was pleasantly surprised that they gave the VIB Rouge members 20%. In previous spring sales, it's always been 15, so that, you know, a little extra percentage was, you know, a nice surprise. And I think um, they are just realizing, you know, Ulta is a big competitor. Um, they always, you know, offer multiple 20% discounts throughout the year. So I think they realize they have to step it up a little bit. So they made this spring sale also 20%, even though it's a little bit later this month, um, than usual, it was a nice surprise. And the VIB Rouge members got to shop early and got to shop all week. And now this weekend it's open to regular um, VIB and Beauty Insiders that get a little bit less. I think that's 15% maybe. And I think Beauty Insiders get 10%. So, um, you know, I'm a Rouge, of course. I've been Rouge for the past, oh God, probably three or four years. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not something I'm proud of, but it's also, you know, pretty easy to become Rouge in my case as an avid makeup lover. So I, I like it, you know, you get the 20% off, why not? So let me quickly just jump right into it. I'm not doing too much makeup today, as you can tell. Weekends I tend to do like a no makeup makeup usually unless we're like going out somewhere and I feel like doing my makeup. I usually just do it for work. So I'm only doing like some cream eyeshadow from Tom Ford. Um, here I'm showing you, not, it's not like you care, but if you did wanna know, it's the Tom Ford cream and powder shadow, but I only use the cream portion, which is here. It's in the shade Emerald Isles, and I don't know. I like their cream shadows. This is the only duo I still have. There's the powder portion, but I didn't use the powder. And I just felt like this, maybe this particular shade is very sheer, and you know, you definitely had to build it up a lot, like really build it up to get any kind of color payoff. And I'm not that impressed with the powder portion either. I really like just the single cream shadows by him a lot more. And on my lips, I'm just using the new Laneige Lip Glowy Balm um, in the shade Pear that I got before the sale already started. Um, and it's very moisturizing, not sticky, and I love the scent. I love Pear, and it's even though it's green and it has like a green tinge to it, it doesn't translate on the lips. It's just sheer lip balm. I probably want another shade, uh, flavor or two, but you know, they're cheap, so I don't mind not getting them on sale. Anyway, let's get started. I do have another order still on its way and I might place one more order before the sale is over. So unfortunately those will just arrive later, but I wanted to get this video up and out since the majority of my items I've already done shopping for. Um, so I placed one order last weekend right away to get five items. I actually did not go crazy this sale, at least in my opinion. I don't think I went as crazy as previous sales. Previous sales, I would have like 20, 25 items. Yeah, like I would go nuts and just have like a huge amount of items that I ordered. But this time I'm, I'm definitely keeping it like under 15, <laughs> I think. So I already had stuff in my car. I already like, um, like, reassessed my cart, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say, multiple times, you know, adding, removing items and what I really wanted and try to narrow it down. And these five items, I definitely knew I was gonna get right away. So I placed this order last week. Um, I got the Givenchy limited edition uh, La Rouge lip color. Um, it's this blue and red zebra print. 
I always try or usually get their limited edition, edi ugh, limited edition packaging. Um, and I thought this one was just really cool and different. I don't know. Are those supposed to be zebra print or feathers? I don't really know. But um, yeah, I have all their, you know, limited edition lipsticks. Um, sometimes I get the Prisme Libre powder that also, you know, has the matching case. But um, the one for this I already have, they just, you know, tend to repeat the sh same shade. So I already have that in a different limited edition case. So I feel like I didn't need that as well, just the lipstick. So I got that. Oops, I just dropped it. I didn't even say the shade. Number 304, Mandarin Bolero. Mandarin Bolero. Nice reddish shade. Oh, actually, I didn't even show you the shade. Let me do that. I'm so dumb. I'm just like all about the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a vibrant orange red coral, perfect for summer, and I just felt like it really suited this packaging to the T. Okay, so that was the lipstick. Um, I also wanted a new Jo Malone. Actually, I wanted like five of the new Jo Malone fragrances. Um, I only got one because, like I said, from the Ulta sale and. I don't know, I feel like I've gotten like four new perfumes, like bottle perfumes lately. So I just like stuck to the one and I got the smaller size because I just have no room for more perfume. Um, this is their new scents, the, the Blossom scents or whatever. So this one is, and I of course always blind buy my perfumes, Frangipani Flower Cologne in the nice orange yellow bottle. You know, they had the Star Magnolia. That was a repeat scent from last year. And in the green bottle, they have Silk Blossom, I think, which is in the pink. I don't know. There was a few scents I wanted to try, but I just stuck to one, the Frangipani Flower. And, oh, it smells like honeysuckle. Oh, it smells really good. I kind of wish I got a bigger, bigger bottle of it. But it always takes me forever to go through my perfumes anyway, so smaller size will do for now. Maybe they'll bring it back. Oh, but it smells, it smells really good. <laughs> it's very floral, but not like overly like in your face. Like I said, I love the scent of honeysuckle, and that's what it reminds me of. Um, I have picked up one of these new Touch and Soul eyeshadows, Metalist Sparkling Foil Pigments is here so I mean these are kind of you know not pricey pricey compared to other single shadows but you know $18 I think it was for a single shadow when you know you could just get color pop or whatever but I really wanted to try this I think Tara babies got one and she loved it and said how oh, little drop stopper just fell out how metallic it was and foiled and just creates a nice shine and so she picked up a couple actually after that so this was um sorry there goes the camera the only shade you know i was really drawn to it's like this violet pink let me swatch it here my finger so it's definitely like a pigment because it kind of crumbles and loosens up after swatching so there it is there And I think this shade just looked pretty unique. Ooh, so pretty. So, I don't think it's really picking up on camera too much, but when you look at it, like at least from this angle, all I can see is like pink, pink metallic foil. But in the camera, it's kind of like that taupe blue red shift which I'm a fan of, so you can see on the finger. But yeah, so I think that will make a really pretty eyeshadow and I'm glad I got one of them to try. This was in the shade Hollow Mulberry, if I didn't say that already. Hollow Mulberry number five. So that was item number two, three. <laughs> um, trying to see what else I got in this order. I got this. I could not wait to get this, the Marc Jacob um, Runway, I don't know why it says 9-12-2018, uh, Omega Glaze Highlighter, 
I love the packaging, but I really wish they made the actual highlight packaging, you know, something other than plain black, I guess. Um, and it's huge though, and it's just, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to get this during the sale. And it's just like this pearly white with a gold sheen champagne shift to it. Um, I didn't get the one he released previously in the winter. Um, I thought that was just too dark with the gold cover. Uh, too dark for my skin. Uh, but this one, as soon as I saw, oh, it's lighter, I think it could work. So I'm definitely going to get this one. I don't want to ruin it, but I do. So let's watch it. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit harder in the pan than I expected. I thought maybe it would just be like super soft and powdery, but it's a little bit of stiffness to it, but very pretty. Ooh. Look at that. Definitely only need a light hand. So if you kind of shear it out, you just have the most stunning pearlescent glow. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yes, I am very, very happy. I got this huge ass highlighter now from Marc Jacobs on sale. That's what's even sweeter. Um... You know, I can't even remember what the fifth item was that I got. That's how bad I am. So I got one, two, three, four. There was a fifth item somewhere, but, you know, it's not jumping out at me. So I'm just going to continue. <laughs> I forgot to mention this in my last video, the April monthly haul. Um, I got this from Sephora before the sale, so I just forgot to say it because it was in my refrigerator to keep it cool it's this glow recipe new pineapple pineapple seed bright serum for brightening and smoothing so i just wanted to quickly mention that here it's just this cute little pineapple bottle oh it feels so nice and cold because it was just in the fridge and this little dropper and it smells delicious like pineapple juice and i just love anything pineapples and it just makes me want to drink it and eat it but I'll put it on my skin and see how it goes. So got that. And then my second order, I can't find the fifth item. The second order, I got some skincare and Game of Thrones items. So um, I'll just start. Some of the Game of Thrones, ugh, Urban Decay Game of Thrones items, I had purchased and sold them Mercari because um, everything sold out so quickly. So I still have a couple of the lipsticks um, here. I'm not going to bother taking them out. I think everybody's seen this collection over and over again. But I am a huge Game of Thrones addict. And this collection was just... I love that a brand went ahead and did a collection. It's just... And I think Urban Decay is the right brand to do this collection. Um, so I'm keeping, I think, the shade, the Daenerys Targaryen shade for myself. It's a stunning like red shade and this is the shade White Walker. This I'm selling on Mercari, which I'll have listed down below if you want to check out my, my Mercari page. Um, and I already got the other two shades of lipsticks, but I sold those. I got one of the eyeliners. Um, this one is in Winter Fell Snow. It's this like really cool pearly white liner that has kind of like a shift to it, I think, or some sparkle and glitter um so I just felt like that would be nice on the waterline and brighten up the eyes so this I was keeping for myself and I wanted to get I think dragon smoke it was like a bluish purple shade also for myself but then when I got my Sephora order they sent me two shades of this and of course by then it was already sold out so I couldn't get the shade I wanted so I was just really aggravated I should have known um, that they might mess up. And so they refunded me, you know, my money. And I just sold the second shade <laughs> of that since I already had one. And of course, I got the Game of Thrones um, eyeshadow palette. I was thinking of getting the vault for myself. Um, but then I was like, you know, I'm not calling myself doing a low buy anymore. But I'm also, you know, not going completely crazy as I had done in the past. Um, so I was just like, do you really want everything in that vault? You know, you're just getting it for cl collector's purposes. And it's just, I didn't, you know, after looking at everything, I'm like, I really don't think I could ever wear or use the highlighter palette. Um, that 
liquid cheek stain. I was like, no. The brushes, I was like, no. So it's just like, just get a few of the pieces during the sale that you wanted for yourself. And then if you get the vaults, resell them. And I, I got the vaults, not from Sephora, because they already sold out in Sephora. Um, I got the vaults from Ulta and Macy's and sold them on Mercari, or I will be selling them on my Mercari my Mercari. Um, so I just got the eyeshadow palette for myself. I don't know if I'll use this or if I'll just use it for, you know, my untouchables, but there it is. And this you could definitely still find available on Ulta and Sephora, I think. But I got the eyeshadow. And then I got some skincare items, a couple of Sephora skincare items. I went to the Sephora at my JCPenney. And I saw these there, and I've never seen them online, so I was like, oh my god, I need to buy them. By the way, I use, like, Sephora gift cards for all of this, so a lot of it wasn't even out of my own pocket, which was super nice. I was definitely saving my gift cards from Christmas, specifically for the sale, and I'm so proud to say that I managed to hold on to them and wait for the sale to use them, so that was even sweeter. Um, so I saw these at my local JCPenney Sephora, and... I hadn't even seen them online yet, so I picked up a few. Well, I waited to order them online since I could use my gift card and everything since I didn't have it on me when I was in the store. So I got three. I think there's like six different scents. Um, of course, banana. I can't ever stop using banana. Uh, banana cream mask. This is for nourishing and just little cute little banana prints, and it smells. Oh, it's sealed. But in the store, it smelled really good. I also got this one, which is Peppermint Gum Mask, and I love anything minty and fresh. I feel like it smells so, you know, cooling and fresh for, for the summer especially. This is for toning, so that one. And then this one is the Cannabis Hemp Mousse Mask, and this is for anti-blemish. So I wasn't going to get this one, but I have blemishes, so I was like, yeah, I should just get this and try it and Sephora is pretty you know cheap brand so those were like seven dollars or something and then I decided to try these because I'm almost out of I think it's the naturally cold pressed peeling pads or something I got those in the last sale I usually use the first aid beauty radiance pads but then I ran out of those and I wanted to try this new brand and see how they worked and they're okay I mean I don't I think they're a little bit more expensive than First Aid Beauty, so I feel like I'll just go back to my First Aid Beauty ones. But then I saw these from Sephora, and these are, of course, even cheaper than the ones from First Aid Beauty. So I decided I'll try these for now and then see about the First Aid Beauty going back to those. The Sephora Glycolic Acid Glow Peel Pads for Radiance and Smooth, and this was like 15 bucks for 60 pads, so decided to get that. And then when I was also at my Sephora at JCPenney, they had... Um, the new Too Faced Peach line, like they have the liquid eyeshadows and the Peach Puff liquid lipsticks. And the liquid eyeshadows, I swatched those and those were like really nice. A couple of those shades really caught my eye and I was so tempted to buy them online. But then I was like, you have so many liquid eyeshadows that you hardly reach for. You really shouldn't get any. <laughs> so I didn't. I refrained. But when I swatched and smelled the Peach Puff diffused matte lip color I was like oh my god you have to get one of those at least um so this is the Too Faced Peach Puff and I got the shade Scary Spice which is like kind of like a terracotta it looks a lot darker than when it swatched terracotta brown red shade and it has a little puff at the end that you just screw twist up to get it to come out but it smells just like peaches and it's just so delicious and it leaves that like nice stain on your lips which I actually prefer during the summer rather than like a heavy lipstick so there it is Oops. see so it's just like a nice sheer stain that you could build up I didn't twist that much out of it Mm, and it just smells like Too Faced Peach Collection. I think it smells delicious. Kind of smell that fig cream that they usually use. I don't know if that specifically what they have in this product. Mm, it smells so good. 
kind of wish I had them all, but I already have enough lipsticks. So that is all for now from my Sephora orders. Like I said, I have one more order coming that has just one item in it. And I could have sworn there was something else that I'm missing, but I'll probably find it later and, you know, kick myself for it. But yeah, <laughs> so one more order, one item, and I might place one last order. I don't know. We'll see if anything releases that catches my eye. So that was all for my Sephora haul. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what you got for the sale. Um, leave a comment down below letting me know what I'm missing, if you've tried any of these items, how you like it. Um, and, you know, until the next sale, which probably won't be till fall. Last year they had one in the summer, but that was only because they were revamping their point system or Beauty Insider Rewards. So I doubt they'll do it again this summer. But we'll see. And you never know. And... Thank you again. My name is Lizzie and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys. Uh, you thought I was done. Uh, I was looking around my desk and my desk is a mess. And this was the missing item that I was talking about and I could not remember that I got it. And I found it on my desk and I was like, yep. So quickly, uh, <laughs> I got the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip. I have been dying to try this formula. Um, I've been on like a no lipstick buying phase um for the year because i just have way way too many lipsticks but everybody has been raving about this for so long and i'm like okay i'm finally gonna get one during the sale and try it so i got the shade give a fig which is this like nice pinky mauve color mm, it does smell good people were saying it smells pretty good it does so let's swatch this here oh it's so pretty So there's the swatch next to the Too Faced Peach Puff, a little bit darker, rosier shade, and the formula feels really nice and not sticky, just nice and smooth, and giving you that little bit of pigment. Ugh. Tap some on right now. Highly recommend trying one of these if you haven't yet. So that was it. Okay, bye. <laughs>